Very emotional end of the season. Um, is that how you're feeling now? Yes, well, first of all, congratulations to Manchester City for winning the Premier League. Um, unbelievable what they've done uh, since December. We've been an incredible journey uh, with every performance index being at the highest level that uh, that we have seen. And it still wasn't enough, and this is the level. So um, today is a mixed emotion, first of all, to, to really be proud of all those players, uh, the staff that they've done an incredible job, and they have pushed every limit, every margin that we could find um, to try to win this Premier League. And, uh, and unfortunately, it was a bit short, and we could not deliver um, the big prize that we wanted, because you can feel it that they are desperate for it. And, and you were calling on the supporters to, to push you in the face. It's the only way. So now we have, we've seen it there, and we are there, and they took it away from us, you know. And um, it's the second season, so there's only one way to do it. You have to be more determined, you have to be more ambitious, you need to have a lot of courage, and push every limit and everything that we have, because uh, that's the next step. Sam? I'm sure the time for reflection will come, but do you have a feeling of what the difference was this year. I know it's tiny margins, but do you know what you need to do for next season? What I said, everybody available in the crucial moment of the season. Huge difference. Is, is there a moment or game in particular you look back on? For sure, Aston Villa at home, you know, and the first half, it should have been 4 0. And maybe the story would have been different, uh, but what happened last Tuesday, maybe today we're champions. These are the margins are so, so, so small. And that's a credit as well that uh, the club and the team should take because you're doing this against the best team in the history of the Premier League by far. Mike? Mikel, uh, Man City have won the title um, with points totaling, I think, 93, 98, and this season 91 points. Are we reaching a stage where it might require 100 points to win the title to beat Man City or anybody else? Either? Yeah. Well, I was there when we did 100 points, so I know what it takes and <laughs> know what happened. And this is the level. Uh, nobody has to explain me what the level is because I've been there for years, every day. Uh, so I know what we have to do if we want to reach there. And not only for one season, but for the rest. But we are in the right path, in the right journey. And to see the evolution so quickly happening, I haven't seen it um, before. So. We're in the right trajectory now. We need really to put the teeth and bite into it because we really want more. James? I know you won't go into detail, but when you look at the summer window, can you give us an idea of what you think you need to do in that window to, to, to get over the line? Yeah, rest. Have a beautiful holidays. <laughs> That's what we need first <laughs> because everybody has put every single drop of energy and um, and passion that we had, and, and now we need to rest. And when we decompress and rest and think, we will have to start to think with uh, more clarity. But those plans are going to be in motion already, I guess. You know, you know what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of idea how much? Does it, it doesn't need major surgery, does it? It must need one or two. Or what do you think? Well, the first one and most important is how we going to get this player to a different level. That's my first job. And after that, if Visualizing that we still don't have enough to do that, for sure. We're going to have to do everything that we can to, to fulfill those gaps. Miguel, just on that question of points, Miguel, is it healthy for football that you need to get so many to even challenge? I mean, in, for most of history, 89 points is enough to, it was enough last year to win the league. Yeah, when you look in the last 15, 20 years of this league and the competition wasn't like it is today. For sure, you're a champion, but it's not enough, but this is as well. Probably we are getting better and better and better and faster because someone is so good that you have to chase it, and that's what it makes you good as well. So uh, that's it. We cannot feel sorry for ourselves, guys. We, we tried. We are improving. Um, it was an unbelievable season again, but uh, we are not champion. That's the reality. Okay. Martin was quite emphatic on the pitch there, saying the team are even more hungry. The players want to come back and be stronger and win everything next season. Is that the sense you get from the players in that dressing room now that obviously they're disappointed today, but they're even more hungry to go again next year? Yeah, but I had uh, the same one in pre-season when, when we got together and they saw what was happening. 
players taking a different level, another year together, some big signings. It was a huge uh, belief in the squad that we can go all the way in any competition. We have experienced the Premier League for the first time in seven years. We are right on it in the Premier League. Now we have to continue to be at that level. When you say players can take a different level, what specifically do you mean in terms of the way they're off the pitch, the way they're on the pitch? Or? In everything, the way they compete, um, the way they they talk about the future, where they talk about um, what they are capable of doing, what we are capable of doing as a team. I sense a real belief there, and um, and they are they really determined. Before I didn't have that feeling that we really want to win and we're going to go toe to toe and look in the eyes of every opponent. Now I feel that. Okay, last couple now, James. Athletic. Yeah, it's awesome, Michele. Is that the hardest thing to deliver that consistency of motivation? You know, the last two seasons you've suffered this disappointment in the title race. Do you have any fears that that could affect your squad moving forward in a, in a negative way? No, I don't think so because. We're still there to win it, and that's the motivation. Gary? What are you going to do tonight? Sorry? What are you going to do tonight? You want to come with me? I'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I have my family here, uh, a few friends, so I'll have a good dinner with them. And then I spend some time with the staff and, and the members of the, and the players um, together. That's what I'm going to do. Um, on the pitch, you said, we will win it to the crowd. I mean, what gives you that, that confidence ultimately going forward into, into next season? Also, can I ask you just quickly about Cabrera's injury as well? Yeah, if we do what we have to do, we're going to be closer. And at the end, we'll win it. They win, I don't know. But uh, if we keep knocking and being that close, at the end, it will happen. OK, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for everything, guys. Yeah. Have a good rest. Oh, yeah, for the Euros. Sorry? Um, the Euros. Yeah. 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 See you. Take care, guys. Have a good time. Thank you. 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 Thank